Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing book stuff. We're gonna be doing some reading. We're probably gonna go book shopping tomorrow. I'm either gonna go to like this romance only bookshop. I've only just heard of it. It's like a 20 minute drive from where I live. And apparently they only sell romance books there. So like contemporary romance, fantasy romance, historical romance, basically just any sort of subgenre underneath the romance genre. So I'm very excited. I hope I go there tomorrow. I'll see if mom is keen because I'm gonna be going over to my mom's house for a sleepover. I do this almost every weekend. I love my mom. If you watch my channel a lot, you know that I'm always over at mom's house because mom is also a reader i'm a reader so we just love to hang out be cozy be cute and read together <laughs> but if i don't go to that romance only shop then i'm just gonna go to like a normal sort of bookshop there's two books that i've got my eye on and i really want to pick them up i am about to start a new book today which i always love doing i just finished reckless by lauren roberts oh my god the ending was crazy i need the third book to come out immediately the ending was actually I did not see it coming. I really thought that I predicted what was gonna happen and then I was so wrong. I was so wrong, the ending was so good. The book overall, I'll talk about it again more when I do my July wrap up. Book overall is like a 3.5 to 3.75. Loved the beginning. The first 100 pages, ate up. Loved the last 50 pages, but the middle sort of part was just like very repetitive. It had like no fantasy in it. If you're like a true romance lover, like you just only want to read about romance, I think you, I think you'd love this. I don't know. It was just missing like the magic and the fantasy element for me. I feel like that would have made it so much better. And I feel like the romance in this would have hit so much harder if there was like a plot going on. Let's go pick out a new book together. I really don't know what I'm in the mood for. Let me get my TBR card and then we will pick one out together. Can you guys see? I think so. Okay, so this is my TBR card, but the books up here are what's left on my July TBR. Um, and I don't have to read all of them. I picked out 10 books for my July TBR and normally I read about seven or eight books a month. The reason I picked out 10 books is that it just gives me more sort of options to choose from. So I'll be reading like seven out of the 10 books. If that makes sense. Anyways, let's pick out a new book together. There's four that I'm in the mood for. We could do Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This is like a superhero sort of book. I really want to try out a book by Marissa Meyer, so I feel like this would be a good choice. And I think I'm in the mood for something kind of fun and like fast paced and like action sort of heavy like this book, especially because I didn't get much of a plot <laughs> in Reckless. So I would like a book that has a plot if I'm gonna be honest. So this is a good contender. This is a good contender. Then we've got Memoirs of a Geisha. I do think I'm gonna listen to the audiobook of this. I don't know, I think I heard somewhere the audiobook was really good. I'm gonna have to fact check that, but I love a good audiobook. So maybe I'll do an audiobook for that. Then we have Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book after Vicious. I loved Vicious, but I just don't think I'm in the mood for this to be honest. And then we've got these three. And to be honest, I'm in the mood for any of them. We have Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This is like a sad love story sort of book. This is like an OG book talk book, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I really do want to read this and I think I'm in the mood for it. I don't know. But I'm also really in the mood to pick up Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Gamis. This is a book that's been sitting in my TBR for honestly one year. And the reason I've had this sort of inkling to like pick it up recently and really want to read it is because Rachel Catherine, who's like one of my favorite booktubers, 
she does like a monthly sort of book club with her best friends i love watching her and her friends like i think they're all book girlies and they're just so cute but they recently read this i think last month's book club and they all rated it like a 4.5 or a 5 and so seeing all of them like rate it so high made me really want to pick it up and i was like you know it's finally time to read this book i know it's like a super highly acclaimed book it's got a tv show and everyone has loved this book so i think i'm leaning towards this one the most i think so and then we also have girl with a pearl earring by tracy chevalier one of my subscribers ronnie she posted a story of this book on her instagram and she was like i loved it i forgot what she said about it it was like a really nice compliment towards it but i just know she loved it because of that it made me want to read it so i'm in the mood for either of these I really don't know guys this is also a movie it's got scarlett johansson and colin firth hmm i think i'm gonna do lessons in chemistry i bet you this is gonna be one of those books i give like a 4.5 or a 5 star and i'm like why was it sitting on my shelf for so long that always happens a lot of the times when i put a book off for like ages i end up reading it and i'm like how dumb was I to just leave this beautiful work of art sitting on my shelf? Anyways, I might make an iced coffee and do some reading. Good morning besties happy sunday mom and i are just about to go to a cafe we're gonna get some coffee do some reading together i am still reading lessons in chemistry i'm on chapter eight which is page 67 and i'm really 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 enjoying this book so far like a lot so i'm just excited to sort of get further into it and see how the story progresses i'm not gonna go to the romance bookshop i'll do that like another time it's gonna go to our sort of like local bookshop near where mum lives there's two books that i've got my eyes on but we'll see when i'm there i was nominated at work for like this june award thing and i won like a prezi card i don't know if you guys call it a prezi card it's sort of just like a gift voucher it sort of works like a credit card and you can sort of use it at any shops you know the books i'm gonna buy today are actually free so thank you so much to whoever nominated me at work mom gave me her jumper to wear and i feel like it's very cute she's also wearing a green jumper mom do you want to say hi because we look kind of matching today yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we look like twins don't we oh we look really cute <laughs> right we're gonna go now mom she just finished the last hour series and she's very sad because she loved it and now she doesn't know what to read She's, she's like in a bit of a book slump because nothing's really tickling her fancy. So anyways, we're going to go to the cafe now and I'll speak to you guys soon.
It's been a long time, but I remember it well. Just like the photo we keep on the shelf. Oh, we were young. Oh, we were young. Now ten years have passed and we're still locked in time. I don't take for granted the years that go by. Started with a gaze. Moments collected in time, perfectly bound like your emphasis in mine. Lucky to find what we're both looking for in this life. My heart is aching, but somehow in all the right places, you make me feel like enough. I'm ever yours. I'm ever yours. These tears of happiness shaking Cause I know that I found love I'll never yours, I'll never yours Always believed that after the miles We find ourselves here at the end of the shop now and I really want to get a new mug. I love getting a new mug. It's so exciting mug shopping. Oh, this one's cute. It's got two cats and it says I love you. It's quite cute. Mom thought it was silly. She's a hater. <laughs> I don't know what mug to get. That is so cute. That is actually very beautiful. I do like that. Hello besties. So I ended up buying three books at the bookshop, which I am very happy about. So first and foremost, I think you guys knew I was going to get this one. I ended up getting a novel love story by Ashley Poston. If you don't know, Ashley Poston wrote The Seven Year Slip and I read that earlier this year. No, I think I only read it like one month ago and I knew I was going to like it, but I ended up 
loving it. Gave it a five star and I have been wanting to read this for quite a while. This came out on the 3rd of July, but because I live in New Zealand, which I love, I love New Zealand, but New Zealand works a little bit slow. We're slow to get things, like things are just a bit slower on this side of the world. So this was actually only available in the bookshop like a couple days ago and it's the 17th of July. I am so excited to read this book. This is like a rom-com sort of book. And if you guys know me, I'm not usually super huge on rom-coms, but this woman, her writing, magical, magical. So from what I know, the sort of premise of this book is that the main character, she gets like stuck in this sort of town. Oh, her car breaks down en route to her annual book club retreat. She ends up in this town where the rain always comes in in the afternoon and the bookshop is always curated with impeccable taste. It feels too good to be true. And that's because she is in the setting of her favorite romance series. And I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like such an interesting premise. And I just know that this author is gonna execute it so well. I've only read one of her books, but I loved it so much. And I just feel like she has this way of writing just like this very magical sort of setting. I have heard somewhere that the romance in here isn't great, but like the actual setting of the book is phenomenal. When I was reading The Seven Year Slip, the romance was fine, but to be honest with you guys, that was like the thing I cared about the least. The beauty of that book for me was the setting. It was just, I don't know, the writing and the setting of that book, I ate up, gobbled it up. Um, so I just know that I'm gonna really, really, really enjoy this one. Like it's literally a book about someone being stuck in her favorite book series. I'm gonna love it. Then I ended up getting Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Last Hour series. I'll just show you the first one. So this is the first book, Chain of Gold. This is the second book. I really love the covers. They're so pretty. I just feel like they're very gorgeous. I read this book a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago. Honestly, things just sort of blur for me. I forget <laughs> when I've done things, um, but I loved this book. I gave it a five star. It is a spin-off from The Infernal Devices. You guys might be sick of me because I think I've already said this a couple times on my channel, but if you haven't heard me say it yet, or maybe you're like a new watcher, please do not read this series without reading The Infernal Devices. You technically can, but it would just mean that you could never read The Infernal Devices. Or if you do, you would have already been spoiled for so many things. The amount of spoilers for The Infernal Devices in this book is crazy. And you might not even realize that they are spoilers, but if you've read that series, you would be like, oh, okay. There's also just so many details in here that like reference to The Infernal Devices. And I just think this is so much better if you've read that series, so. Please don't read this without reading The Infernal Devices. The Infernal Devices is amazing read that and then read this. I can't tell you guys too much about the synopsis of this book because it is the second book in the series so you would be spoiled but I'm really excited to get into this book. And then the third book that I picked up is The Book of Azriel by Amber V. Nicole. This is book one of the Gods and Monsters series. In one of my previous videos, I was book browsing and I picked this up and I like walked up to the camera and I was like, ooh, this looks good. And then one of my subscribers, Talia, shout out Talia, I love you so much. Thank you for always commenting on my videos. She commented saying like, oh my God, I love the Book of Azriel. I think she's currently reading it and she thinks it's gonna be her favorite book that she's read so far this year. And I commented back and I was like, say no more, say no more. Next time I go to the bookshop, I'm gonna buy it. And I did, so <laughs> I'm very excited. I also bought the same book for my sister. So I'm gonna message my sister and see if she wants to buddy read with me. My sister actually moved to Australia. So Perth, Australia, which is like the other side of Australia. It's like the West coast of Australia. So it's actually kind of far away from New Zealand. She messaged me being like, I'm really homesick. Like, I miss you guys. My sister loves to read. She's just like me. She reads very similar books to me. She just got herself a little bookshelf and she's been having so much fun, like adding books to her bookshelf. So I surprised her and I sent her three books on Amazon. So I ended up sending her the book of Azriel. I don't know if you can see. And then I also sent her Paranisi. And if you guys have watched my channel, you guys know I love Paranisi. I recently read it, gave it a five star impeccable book. And then I also sent her Heartless by Marissa Meyer, which I do have in my TBR card. I thought it would be quite fun to also buddy read that with my sister. It is the Queen of Heights from Alice in Wonderland, like her villain origin story, like when she was a young girl and 
she just wanted to fall in love but then something happens and it turns her into the evil villain that she is you guys know i love a villain origin story tell me tell me what happened to let them become like that like i eat that up i just feel like it'll be quite fun to read this with my sister and if you guys want to pick this up and read it let me know we could always buddy read it should i start a book club i've been thinking about starting a book club for like a hot minute i might we'll see i'm really excited to read this i think it's like a darker sort of fantasy romance i don't know i don't know <laughs> honestly i bought this purely off vibes i looked at the cover i looked at the back of it i was like uh-huh you're coming home with me so yeah <laughs> reading update i'm almost done with lessons in chemistry i think i've only got like 100 pages left yeah i've only got 100 pages left i sort of flew through it when did i start this book oh no i started it on saturday okay no i didn't fly through it i feel like i did but i actually didn't my usual reading pace is about like 100 pages a day so i tend to read about two books a week sort of sometimes less sometimes more anyways <laughs> i am thoroughly enjoying this book like really 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 enjoying this book i love the main character so much so about halfway through the book is when it kind of gets to the plot that is told in the back so she is a scientist and then she ends up losing that job and then she ends up hosting her own cooking show where she sort of uses science when she's talking about the ingredients so, so instead of saying like oh pick up some salt and throw that in she's like now grab your sodium chloride so she'll just use like scientific terms and it's also very funny the main character is very witty and very funny in her own way like she's got kind of like a dry sense of humor she's super intelligent and just sort of her remarks are just quite humorous so yeah i'm really enjoying this book probably looking like a four point two five star at the minute it might go up i'm very happy i finally picked this book up it's definitely incredible and i can totally see why it's so highly acclaimed i have made myself a cup of coffee i'm just gonna read for 30 minutes Hello everyone, happy Thursday evening. I'm super cozy. I got takeaway. I'm gonna chuck on a, I don't know what I want to watch. Definitely something girly, something fun. My partner is away for the night. He is away for two nights, so this is his second night. He traveled down for work and he was meant to come back today but his flight got cancelled so he felt really bad about it and he actually ordered me <laughs> food and that is my love language so thank you so much Jamie honestly I have the best fiance let me know if you guys want me to like talk more about him in future videos or like for him to be in videos he's a bit camera shy let's force him to be in one of my videos I really want him to be in one of my videos but I just don't think he would like talking to a camera so anyways yeah i want to put on like a fun sort of cozy girly movie just because i love sort of girly sort of chick flick movies more so like from the early 2000s like that is my jam rom-coms from the early 2000s no one does it better or like late 90s but i don't know what hmm let me have a look on netflix and then we will come back so this is like one of my favorite foods ever jordanian style shawamas and this is like a chicken shawama and it is so delicious like so freaking good and it comes with like this garlicky sort of sauce like, mm. <laughs> just so good it is so good now i was in the mood to watch a rom-com sort of chick flick however 
I was just browsing on Prime. Shout out to my bestie for letting me use her Prime account. <laughs> so I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Love you. Um, and I'm scrolling on Prime and what do I see? I do see normal people. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a Sally Rooney girl. I really am. I love the show Normal People. I also love the book, but the show? Spectacular. Spectacular. Um, and I loved the book Conversations with Friends, but I did not like the TV show Conversations with Friends. They kind of fumbled the bag there. It's They dropped the ball. It wasn't great. But the show Normal People, like, phenomenal. So, <laughs> I'm gonna put on normal people, eat my delicious food, and have the best night. Did I mention that it's Thursday night? I love Thursday night. If you guys don't know, I work from home Fridays and Mondays, so I just love Thursday night, you know? I just love it. It's just nice, you know? It's like four days consecutively where I don't have to go into the office, and I love going to the office. I really do. I like talking to people having a chit chat <laughs> but i do enjoy my work from home days i'm gonna shut up watch my show and eat my food i'm so happy it really is the simple things in life guys it really is the simple things like this is just perfect good morning everyone i've got a very cozy rainy sort of gloomy day plan ahead of me so my best friend and i are gonna go grab bagels and then we're gonna park up by the water and just sit in the car and read our books which is gonna be so much fun and then there's like this hot chocolate place that we've been like meaning to try out last time we went there the hot chocolate machine like wasn't working so we're gonna go there today and hopefully it's working it's just like a standard sort of hot chocolate but you can choose the percentage of the chocolate so you can have like 33 percent milk chocolate 66 percent and i think 88 percent and it's like freshly made their real hot chocolate but the cool thing about it is they put this like layer of sort of marshmallow all around the cup and when you're like sipping the hot chocolate you just get a taste of marshmallow every time i don't know if i'm explaining this well hopefully they have it there today so when we go i can like show you guys what it looks like but yeah i'm gonna be so cozy bagels books reading by the water seeing my bestie and getting a hot cocoa i don't know about you guys but that is like the perfect winter day activity in my opinion so we are going to start a new book today because i did finish lessons in chemistry and i really 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 enjoyed it i wouldn't say it's my favorite book i've read but i thoroughly enjoyed the reading experience i thought it was a brilliant story and just sort of unlike any other book i've read before so i totally see why it's very highly acclaimed there were some parts in it that i was like kind of moved a little bit slow for me and this is coming from someone who actually really enjoys kind of character driven stories like i actually don't always need a huge amount of plot a lot of stuff does go on but i felt the first half moved a little bit slow the second half i liked much more than the first half but I will talk about it more in my July wrap up, but anyways, let's pick out a new book. It is going to be from my July TBR. Here is my cart. These are just new books I've added. This is not a part of my July TBR. I've got these left. I'm pretty sure I was going to do memoirs of a geisha, but I also really want to do renegades. Is this a good angle? I don't think it is. Uh, hmm. No. I think I am going to do memoirs of a geisha. Is it geisha or geisha? I feel like people say it differently. My sister has read this book. I think she gave it a five star. She loved it. And I'd seen this book like circulating around a few years ago. So many people said it was like phenomenal. On the back of it, it says something that really makes me want to read it even more. So it says on the back, memoirs of a geisha is the sort of novel that novel lovers yearn for. I do yearn for a good book. And it says, which is to say, so convincing that while reading it, you become transported to another time, another place, and you feel you're listening and seeing with someone else's eyes and ears. That to me is really what a good book is about. It's like just being transported. Okay, I think my best friend's like literally two minutes away. Okay, I can't talk too much about this, but I will speak to you guys soon. <laughs>
Hello besties. So, unfortunately, some footage of mine, like I recorded some more snippets of me reading and talking and I honestly forgot what else and I was editing my video, I'm editing it right now, and I, for the life of me, could not find this footage anywhere. It was not in my SD card, it's not in my storage, like it was just like nowhere. I've got no idea what happened there, I'm really sad about that. Um, at least like it wasn't like a huge amount of footage, probably just like five to ten minutes worth. But yeah, I wanted this to be like a longer video, like a 40 minute one, but I think it's only gonna be like a half hour video. So I'm very sorry about that. I really have no idea what happened. Um, that is like the downside of technology is like, it's just so out of your control. Like when things like this happen, I'm like, there's nothing you can do. Anyways, I'm so sorry about that guys. I. I don't know what's happened. I might find it in the future, and if I do, I'll just chuck it <laughs> in one of my videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this cozy sort of bookish video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.